Okay, so it's six o'clock. Um, I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, are there any adjustments to the agenda for tonight? We may juggle some things around to make logistics yep. go a little bit easier. And then I would like to, um, you know, with the, there was an issue about the rail trail that came up last time, so I'd like to just talk a little bit about that. Um, maybe, you know, unofficially towards the end of the meeting. Okay. Just to get a sense of um, what we might want to think about for that as far as a town and yeah. having rights to it. Um, so, um, I'd like to open up the meeting to for public comment. Um, so this is a good time. Yes. Justin. <coughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we come here tonight to request that the board pass the resolution Declare in our town to be an Article 16, Second Amendment, Constitution, Sanctuary Township. We the people of Woodbury have taken notice of the recent growing hostility among our lawmakers towards our inalienable right of self-defense. This is a, this is evident evidenced in their attempts to pass legislation eroding our right to keep and bear arms in defense of ourselves and the state as prosecuted protected by Article 16 of the Vermont Constitution and the Second Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Despite our objections and overwhelming evidence to the contrary, law-abiding gun owners continue to be blamed for the horrendous acts of violence which occur, or which continue to plague our country and to much lesser extent our state. We live, we live in peace as all good people do, yet continue to draw the attention of lawmakers attempting to fix the problem by targeting good people. While there is no doubt that our society does in fact seem to have a problem with violence, criminalizing peaceful people for owning a tool to protect their families will solve no problems and do nothing except create more criminals. The inalienable, self, the inalienable right to self-defense does not come from man or man's laws. These rights pre-exist all governments and are part of our, natural, our nature as persons. The founders of this country and the state of Vermont understood the importance of arms in the hands of the common man as not only a hedge against invasion, but as a deterrent to tyranny and oppression from our own government. Civilian-owned firearms have countless firearms that save countless more lives every year than take. Often, we mere, often the mere presence of a gun serves as a deterrent to violence in the hands of our weakest and most vulnerable. It is for these reasons that we ask the board to adopt this resolution as a symbol of our civil disobedience to those who would attempt to render us defenseless. Thank you. Okay. So it's my understanding that um, the select board really can't adopt that, um, but I'm, I don't know that for sure. Um, and you know, I know that other towns, other people have come before their town select board, or, or you know, have you know worked out. Um, signings to get it on to the town meeting. I mm -hmm. think most of the, there are a number of towns that will be, this will be a discussion mm -hmm. at town meeting. Yeah. And you know, we're a little bit too late to do that at town meeting as an officially warned um, right. article to, to be discussed and, and voted on by the town folk. And, and in a way I would prefer this to be a town discussion rather than a discussion between the No, I, I, agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, but it is my understanding that um, this, there is a, uh, at the end of the meeting, there is the opportunity to bring up other business before those that are at town meeting, and that would be an opportunity um, if the town meeting body chose to discuss this, um, mm -hmm. to do that. So for this year, uh, I mean, that sounds like the best option to, to bring this before the town, to me anyway. I don't know, Brian and Paul have Yeah, just the timing thing, yeah, that's yeah. all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So if you showed up for town meeting, yep. obviously we know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. We've heard it, so we'll and know that you want to do it there. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, you would, and we'll the talk. town can vote on it at that point. I don't. Diane isn't sure if the town can because it hasn't been warned. It could be discussed. But you can have the discussion, which is probably what you want. Under you could have the discussion. You could have a show of hands. Mm -hmm. um, but whether it would be officially adopted or not because it wasn't warned. Technically, anything that isn't warned on the town meeting agenda can't be voted on. Right. Um, That's correct. Plus, so, I think it's up to the moderator whether he thinks it's a subject uh -huh. that yeah. germane to be discussed. Yeah. So, you, you know, you might...
come to the town meeting, talk to um, whoever the moderator is, probably Steve Freihofner. Um, I don't, I can't see why you wouldn't. imagine why you wouldn't have the wouldn't conversation have with a town resident and want to talk about yeah. something. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then you would probably have the opportunity to read what you yep. read just now, and then it would get, you know, if the moderator approves it uh, to beforehand to be a part of the town meeting and a discussion, and then it would, would happen then. All right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. Good. Thank you for bringing it. Not a problem. And actually, I'll just keep up with the petition. And yep. I just had a boatload of people that signed it that aren't even residents. And yeah, this happens. <laughs> been down this road. Yeah. But my understanding is that you need 5% of the like total. There is. Yeah, right. Which I do yeah, have that. Probably, you yeah, do yeah, have after going through everybody. Yep. Okay. Yep. Out of so 100 people that signed. <coughs> so if you'd been on it like two weeks ago or yes. a month ago, it, it would have been. It would have been, been in there. would have yep. been in there, yeah. But. But it can still come. It's still, still come before, so I would come to town meeting and bring it up. Okay. Uh, oh, nobody else was really taking any lead on it, so I said somebody's yeah. got to stand up. Sure. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. 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 Whereas with us, you never know. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you guys' time. Thank Have you. a good night. So let's see if Brandy is ready to come in. Um, we have to do our minutes and all oh, right. Sorry, do our other yeah. stuff. <laughs> Thank you. So I would like to make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then I would like to make a motion that we approve the minutes from the January twenty seventh, two thousand twenty. Select board meeting and the February 5th, 2020 special select board meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> There's. Uh, hang on. There's one to sign. And. There's the other. receipts over the last two weeks, um, overweight fleet permits, um, records restoration for recording, uh, vital records, copies at cost, um, land record copies, town hall rental fee, vault fees, and zoning permits. Um, delinquencies, we took in $12,060.09. Uh, yeah, so you're doing a good job on that. You do work yourself for a forever job. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up um, only needing 3000 to transfer over mm -hmm. um, for from the money market today. Um, so on this guy, we had talked about the setting up view. an account. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the, the, the alarm system. Alarm monitoring. Yeah, yeah, the garage security. Yeah. Um, 
Is he billing us twice a year or monthly now? It's twice a year. <coughs> twice a year, so I thought, okay. So you're talking about maybe having a budget category for that? And we've talked about setting Should that up, have. but mm -hmm. when I pulled it up as far as a vendor and accounts payable, um, I want to narrow it down to a location because the first three mm -hmm. was because of that passive grant. Right. Um, okay, yeah, the paid, help pay for it, I should say. Correct. Um, yeah, we should, um, you know, it could just be so viral alarm. The annual maintenance when they test it. In your highway. Yeah. And then you've got the monitoring charge. Yep. Yeah. So Initially, maybe we should have a category right. called fire alarm, annual maintenance, and then also monitoring. Should be two. Yeah, or just town garage fire one. alarm, and then they could both go underneath yeah. there. Well, it might just explain it better if someone asks. Right. There's two fees they have to they have to yeah. do right. their There's service every yeah, year plus their yeah we could have two line monitoring. Yeah. I just like to break them down that way. Someone mm -hmm. asks, "What's this mean? It's it clear. Yeah. This it's maintenance because <laughs> yeah. the state requires you to have it looked at once a year." Mm -hmm. Test it, and then you've got the monitor. <clears throat> yeah, we had a lot of other initial f fees with that that were covered under the passive yep. grant. So that's all in place now, right? Yeah, it's been yeah. in place for oh, over a year now. Yeah, yeah, over right. yeah 18 it was installed. Yeah. And so, that yeah. was kind of re required, uh, strongly suggested by passive. Yeah. yeah. That's their main, that's the, one of the main things that they make payments on. For, yeah. Kind of garage fires. No cameras though, probably, with that. There's no cameras, no. No, it's just fire. I can look into it. I didn't look at their stuff, because we got a grant for some stuff this year. I don't think a camera will look at it. So, so do you nice want stuff. two separate categories, one for monitoring and then one for contract? Or how do you... Let's see. How do we want these? How do you want them? Because as of One now, for maintenance. I think we have a title called Fire Alarm. One should be Fire Alarm uh, Maintenance. And then fire alarm monitoring. They're just separate. They're separate things because yep. they come in every year. They'll service it, test it, clean it. That's the maintenance part. That's the maintenance yep. part. It's required by the state to do every year. Yep. And then we get a fee, get a, a, fee a monthly monitoring. fee for the yeah. monitoring. Monitoring. So it like, obviously, you know, like at night nobody's there. Right. But there's somebody monitoring on a, it on at a their monitor. central station. Yeah. 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 So every night they leave, they turn it on. It's all. It's, it's always all. On. It's always yeah. on. So it's always on. So if that yeah. rings, it all. So if they were out working on the roads and yeah. something happened, again the monitor would. Monitoring company would call our dispatcher. We'd yeah. get dispatched. The fire fire department is on um, one of the numbers to call. I'm yeah. Not sure who else is. is so it's always the same. It's just two installments of two hundred and seventy six dollars yep. twice a year. Yeah. yeah. It's a monthly fee of like twenty six dollars a month, I think, or something. Like that. But since it's not in the budget, well, it's yeah, they just won't be budgeted for this year, right? Right. Because they were going into there was garage maintenance and then outside services. So mm -hmm. it was paid last year, probably out of garage maintenance, right? Because I'm sure the we got first one for was it. out of garage maintenance. The second one was outside services. Okay, so th so we, I can we, do a journal entry for those, but for yeah, it'll Next look like year. a negative because we didn't have a category. Right. But it's, so technically, it's it isn't. Could we make this change? You know, usually just before the, as we're getting ready to do the tax bills, we kind of go over the budget, and there are some changes that are made then, just to Increase sort of. Um, well, um, you know, we could take if money was taken out of some of the other parts to pay for it last year, we could just decrease those a little bit and. Just so that they're line items on the budget. I mean, we can well, wait. It'll be there this year. It'll, it'll just show up as a negative in this category, which will have excess in another category. Mm -hmm. So it'll right. cover itself. And just on paper, it'll look funny this year until we do it next year. Right. So I would just create the categories myself mm -hmm. and okay. just let it be. Yeah. Just put zero. Yeah. yeah zero is in zero is in budget yeah. that we spend next month. And and yeah, it's due in March. Technically, it's so. in that other category. But right. we'll, you're right. When we do the budget, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll adjust that. Mm -hmm. I find it's good to like break this stuff down to the mm -hmm. nitty gritty. No, that's, that's the whole whole reason for this is to have it yeah. pretty transparent and obvious. And that way, the stops questions they can look at it. Oh, maintenance. Oh, mm -hmm. monitoring. They can ask you what that is, but right. they don't budget it. So your terms this year. Both of ours. Yep. 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 Is yours more than a year now? Three it's years. Three. Three. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I thought it was a year, but it has never been. So, outside.
outside services, you want me to kick this one over to garage maintenance? Uh, well, sometimes, I mean, they're kind of... Let me to check my numbers to see. Let's, let's keep them both as they are now, I think. Leave oh, these here? I mean, the money for the fire alarm, the, the building to the fire alarm, put it all under one heading that we have currently set up. Do you want me to take it in August? I put it under outside services. Do you want me to move it to garage repairs and maintenance? Um, I would if we're going to create that yeah. category. Okay. That way it's, a, it's together. Clear. Yeah, so it'll okay. show again, it's going to show up as a negative right. in that category, but. Right. Yeah. Okay. And do you want Greg signing off on these, on this one? Uh, sure. Somebody should just to say that they were there. and. Yeah. I mean, I, I could, I suppose, but I think it would be good. Good for him to I'll start putting it in his, yep. Just to say, yes, they were here. Right. And then yeah. let him know the accounts are going to be popping mm -hmm. up. There's, There's quite a paper trail on that that goes right through our department. Uh -huh. we, get a, yeah. we get a notice that it got done. And mm -hmm. I did the transfer, our due to due from numbers. That's on the back of your, the last page on your financial statements. to the estimates that yeah, the we've got. We should be able to pave the parking lot and the road up to the school. Yep. Good. That'd yep. be nice. And uh, you know, the question mark is the road work, how much that's going to cost. Right. Yeah. And you know, the road work, um, we should know pretty soon whether we got the better roads. Okay. Grant. I'll, for, I'll, for um, I'll send an email to Alan May and ask See, yeah. him. Yeah. Because a really a limbo thing is just getting some design done. Yep. And some yep. kind of. And you know, there is, um, I know the estimates for the paving were around forty thousand dollars for the two pieces, so there might be some money in there that we could, yeah, we could use for the design. But if we get the better roads grant, um, that would pay for the actual work. Got it. The yeah. pre-work. The pre-work to get the, the road ready. You get the road, road ready, get yeah. the drainage right. Yeah. You don't want to pave it with the drainage wrong. No. <clears throat> we'll have all that fixed first. Um, Is that something that we will have the town road crew do? Or? No, we were, we were talking about contracting that out. Yeah, so that's to be determined. I think a lot of it has to do whether we get this grant or not. Because I yeah, think yeah. if we don't get the grant, they'll have to do some of it, maybe the trucking yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. But it, you know, it might, might be you could put yeah. someone with a truck. There's a lot of stuff to haul out of there. So yeah. truck this is going to be kind of technical. We want it. To yeah. the right grade. Well, it's going to be right. That's why I wanted to get yeah, someone to look right. at it. So no, we'll, we'll get, you know, Alan May involved and we'll <coughs> get somebody from yeah. the, um, maybe Norm Padden. Yeah, I was going to talk again. to Norm first, see what he yeah. suggested, because it might be big enough where uh, Pike is interested in it yeah. again. And if there's enough, if there's enough money in the paving fund to actually pay That somebody, parking lot is completely in self-destruct yeah. mode. You've been through it, have you, Jeff? Yeah. It's yeah. totally going. Yeah. I bet Lynn's boss would bid on it, too. Yeah. A new, yeah, yeah. We, we, we put it out. We have to go out to bid on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we're going to contract it out, we would definitely have to put it out to bid. Yeah. So. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sweet. That would be good. good. And I'll just step aside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank until <coughs> yeah, the next um, one that pops up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so here's my thinking now with the agenda. Um, Diana, would you like to be involved in the review of the personnel policy also? Randy is going to be. Okay. So, what are you ready to do a town clerk's report? Okay, so let's have the town re clerk's report next, um, and then we'll, um, with both Randy and Diana, we'll go over the review of the county and elected town officials, and then the personnel policy. Okay. And that should be a good chunk of the meeting, just to do those things. Well, the okay. town report went to the printers. I gave the final approval, I think, a day after I sent you the copy that I never heard back from. That should be published. I don't think I ever received a copy of it. Well. But it's probably going to get a response. <laughs> oh, well. 
I had to cut it off at some point. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go eventually, right? <laughs> I did I did lose a whole day's worth of emails on last oh. Thursday. No. Oh. I don't know why. Uh so yeah, weird. But you anyway, already sent so. it out by then again. Right. I yeah, I um anyway. Sent you the last copy from the printers and there were a couple of things that needed to be tweaked a little bit and they mm -hmm. did that and I think I gave them the final approval on Saturday or Friday. Mm -hmm. And that should be printed and in the mail by the 18th, which is next weekend. The town, yeah. Like yeah. plenty of time, Good. ten days before town meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, so I haven't had a chance to worry about much else. I'm doing some no, absentee ballots, trying to catch up on some other things. Um, there might be other things I need to do to get ready for town meeting, but um, mm -hmm. I'll find out whether that school PA system is going to be sufficient. Uh -huh. So that we don't hire to hire somebody because I don't think they had that last year. We had it. We had they had it. PA. It just wasn't up and running. Right. Oh, the speakers okay. installed. They mm -hmm. hadn't cooked everything. Uh -huh. Okay. So did we rent from Gagnons again last year? Well, last year we rented from Robin Grant. Robin Grant. Okay. Yeah, but hopefully we won't have to because it looks like they've got a new system, right, Perfect. Randy? Yeah, hopefully yeah. So I asked Steve okay. to check into that. I don't know if Steve Fryer has been checking into it. Well, I asked him to. I don't know. I'm going to kind of yeah. check into well, that. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll take yeah. We'll make sure. Call and ask Don. We'll make sure. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. And and what about the pre town meeting? Have we contacted the yes, the Brett or whoever? Six thirty on uh, Thursday. Thursday the twenty something. No, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Thursday. Yeah, twenty seven. Six thirty. Right. Yeah, six week. It's uh, well, not yeah. quite two weeks. A little over two weeks. Don't. Jeez, I like winter really? to get over faster. Yeah, so. no, that's no, the no, town hall or school at the, at the, the community oh, room. Yeah, that's where we did it last year. Last couple of years, that worked out okay. And yeah. Brandy's going to be there to open the door. If she's not, the library is open that night anyway. So okay. Six thirty, twenty seventh. And I'm guessing that Don Turgeon knows about setting up the chairs and stuff like that, but right. I'll check with him mm -hmm. beforehand. I get a bunch of ballot clerks lined up because it's going to be a long day for balloting, and then at, after 7 o'clock we're going to have two two ballot boxes that have to go out to Hardwick Elementary, the, mm -hmm. Hardwick, the uh, Union Elementary vote and the Hazen vote. They're going to be in the same place, but two separate sections. So we should send at least two people because there'll be a lot of okay. counting to be done. I, I'm, I'm willing to be one okay. of those. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you? Yeah. You usually yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we have to have two separate voting areas for the primary? <coughs> No, so it could just all be the same, yeah. but they got to go in different boxes. Oh, definitely, yeah. We're not going to have to drag, drag out three boxes. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> three boxes? Yeah. yeah, one for the primary so this, and one for the... Oh, I don't think uh, the Republic, Yeah, I don't think the primary gets two boxes. I think the first thing we do when we open those boxes separate, is separate, separate the Republicans and the Democrats. Yeah. you got a box for each those. school thing. Yeah. So that, right, that separate, counting has to happen, too. That's right, at the... At the polling place. At the polling at the school, okay. Yeah. So we'll need counters. There's usually a bill. bunch of people out there. So. Yeah. Well, i got to sign them up. I mean, yeah. last year, when was the last time? What, what was, we voted at something on the town, at the town hall. It must have been a, a midterm election last Where year. Where the rules? Right. We had those rules for the new school district and all that were voted on it. Well, that was yeah, a, that was the a, merger a, thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we didn't vote. That no, was the ballot. Okay. But I remember yeah. the, the last time we had a big vote in the town hall. I think that right. was the midterm elections, and that was pretty miserable. We didn't have enough counters. But right, that was a long the, night. This will be easy counting because it's just one yep. name on each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we had like four tables, the last one I counted out. Yeah, we needed people. more. And we had some rookies <laughs> in there. Right, exactly. We had to count over and over again. We had to count over, yeah. 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 The that was still there after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were still trying yeah. to reconcile. Well, mm. But it came out all right. After that election, Avram said he was going to try to come and convince us to go to... Uh, 
electronic. Mm. I don't want no it. way. Mm. Yeah, too much weird stuff yeah. happens. Yeah, it's like not, and, it, and it's not. To, yeah, it's not like it's going to be hacked or anything because it doesn't go anywhere electronically. Mm -hmm. It's right. just the voter yeah. ballots go in the machine and they get counted, and then you then you report them by email, but. Anyways, it's still too much. It's a lot of money, too, to set it up, isn't it? Yes, it is. And every year you have to pay like $500 you get a special card for every election. Yeah, it's it's kind of nice to be a part of the <coughs> county. Yeah. 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 I always thought it was kind of fun, except yeah. last year was, I was just have to really have... late. I was one of the last ones. I was getting emails from Secretary of State's office. Are you all right? You know? Do we have money? <laughs> Yeah. There's just so many weird yeah. things that happen. Yeah. I mean, just look what happened last week. Oh my yeah. goodness, really. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to use, fortunately, we don't even have cell phone service at the town hall. So we yeah. do, as long as the fire department. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did learn that once. Put your web put our web, we'll put our uh, yeah. password up there. Yeah, exactly. was a ballot clerk, I yeah. think. Yeah. So, so I'll be telling on her. So. And Robin said she held a regular. We've got some regulars. Mm -hmm. So let's do the easy one first. Uh, are you are you all done? Yeah. I didn't okay. Let's, let's review the um, appointed and elected town officials. Um, let's do the appointed officials first. Um, so um, I and I have, have said that I will contact the folk, the appointed officials that are due the terms expire, just to mm -hmm. see if they're willing to. And I'll do that this week. I um, told I've done you that some I contacted already. Dave Barnhouse. Yeah. He said yes to both. Yeah. I, I um, contacted Peter Pelz and he was going to check with the people on the Woodbury Fund mm -hmm. Committee. Um, and then if, if we are going to have a rail trail committee, could you contact the people that you, you know, think would, would want to be appointed? Um, sounds like we should have one after what Yeah, I think I got a hold of Dan and he gave me a call back and okay. he's working on a, a, a group. You know, yeah. from Harry and Woodbury, so okay. it's just going to be a combination. So okay. what, what we're basically trying to do is make sure that there's somebody That's willing to be there um, before town meeting, so the select board meeting immediately after town meeting, we can appoint everyone that needs to be appointed, yeah. mm -hmm. so that there isn't a kind of lap time of trying to find out. Um, so as long as we know, you know, by town meeting who's if the people that whose terms are expiring are, are willing to continue, or if not, then we, um, Laura will uh, put a thing on the website, and I want to get try to have those names uh, for her as soon as I can um, of appointments that are open. Okay. So people, if people want to. Do you to have any for, idea that Jim might not? I really don't. Really I don't. He hasn't said that. About the Rudy's. Yeah, we're. Both They're appointed by the yeah. state. Yeah. So oh, that's that's, that's right. kind I think of a five year. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Yeah. So I'll, I'll contact Kim both good, about anyway. the three the mm -hmm. three appointments that he has: the animal control officer, the dangerous buildings officer, and the townkeeper. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll contact. Um, let's see. We're so we've had one opening on the planning commission. So the planning commission will try to figure out who else might. Um, we may have two openings. I don't know. We'll have to find that out. But. Um, Planning Commission will meet uh, next week on Monday, and we'll try to figure out if there's some new people. That we in can. his in his Planning Commission report, uh, Skip uh, Lindsay seemed to assume that the Planning Commission should have nine people, even though because well because the statute says you can have up to nine, but I really think it's a select board's decision whether to increase from five to nine. He hasn't asked that. He just. Put well, you know, yes, we always they, struggle to get people. I know. Anyway, that's so the thing. To get, get five, five. We struggle to get five. <laughs> yeah. And you're not even a voting member, so. Yeah. No, I shouldn't know, be. So I shouldn't be. Wouldn't, uh, yeah, um, I hate to increase it. Yeah. Yeah, really. right. No, I, I don't. The statute says between five and nine. I don't think right. it's that you have to have the right, full exactly. amount. Um, right. Exactly. Right. So. No, not nine. Um, so yeah. technically, to, to, to by state statute, to have a functioning mm -hmm. planning commission, you have to have at least five. Mm -hmm. So, and right now, I don't know if we've lost two that are, I know we've lost one, mm -hmm. um, so, mm -hmm. and you know, with, with me as a select board member on the planning commission, you know, it's okay for a select board member to be there, but I should really be kind of, I can't remember the term, it's, it's like that, so that I technically don't vote, right, but, I, but I can participate, but, um, 
So, yeah. So the planning commission needs to come up with some appointments there. I'll check in with um, Bob Martin about being the zoning administrator for another year. Um, and the Zoning Board of Adjustment, I'll send a couple emails to those folks. I we, did talk, well, I, I called Mary, but she wasn't home last week. She was yeah. pre presiding, at, or she was presenting at some conference somewhere out west. Okay. But Skip, I'm pretty sure he's willing to be reappointed. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll send them all. David's I'm going to try yeah. doing the email route here first, uh, just to see That's that. That's well, you know. It just saves me time. You know, you know, well, sometimes a personal touch is nice too. Well, that's true, but I'll, I'll make the email very personal. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, please. It Mary's the only one I'm, I'm worried about. <laughs> right. Um, I'm willing to continue as the uh, Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission rep. Mm -hmm. um, we vote the TAC committee rep is another regional plan. I think it's been vacant for a long time. Um, Nobody wants to do it, and the town, if they do it, they'll probably want to get paid mileage, and that's, you know, money that yeah. is not well spent, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a monthly trip to Montpelier. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll contact Jane about the Little Mott Solid Waste District. And the first constable is another long vacant spot. Mm. Um, the Planning Commission is has been talking a little bit about the energy coordinator. Um, I'm willing to be in that role again, um, and but, you know, we've been working on an energy component for the plan. town plan, um, and that the discussion about the energy, there is something in the energy um, plan about having a, um, not a, they don't call it a coordinator, they call it something else, um, and, but I think the person who was thinking of doing that is, has resigned. So, um, and I'll let you and Brandy check with your assistants about mm -hmm. appointing um, the assistant town clerk and assistant town treasurer. I'll check in with Chance about the uh, emergency management director, Skip about the E91 coordinator, Ron about the tree warden, and and then if you could check with folks for the rail trail, um, and, and we'll go. Go from there. Okay, so you didn't. I didn't. Oh, I did give you a. Okay. Yeah. Uh, up to date. Although that's the copy that I have, I did add the rail trail before it went yeah. to print, but it does yeah. make it on this. Okay. Copy. Yeah. I just wrote the again too. Yeah. So um, for elected officials. Um, so um, Brandy, I assume that you're. Be, and, and I'm going to run for another term. Um, it's going to be my last term. Uh, nine years will be, will be enough. That'd be nine years <laughs> Six <laughs> years sort of feels like enough. <laughs> uh, but I'm willing to. I wondered after if you're going to go for another round or not. <laughs> no but you, you know, it's kind of a learn as you go thing, and um, it does seem. And there are things in the. Of course, there'll probably always be things ongoing. So mm -hmm. it will never end. It will never end. Right? And but still, I mean, you learn so much. In the first three years, you learn a lot, and yes, then yes, you, you keep learning. Right. <laughs> yeah. well, not that all the, the learning learn is all that much. <laughs> something that you Sometimes would want to you learn know about. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so who is up as a lister? <coughs> Jeff Ron Wells. Okay. So um, I'm pretty sure he's planning to run again, unless somebody else. Is that to get him? Yeah. So Jane was Jane was up as the auditor, and she has indicated that she, she told won't. me she was not going to run. Okay. She was going to finish her term. She wasn't planning to last year. She got yeah. broke in again. Yeah. And it sounds like we do have someone who's willing to um, <coughs> take that on. So um, be we'll, nominated. We'll be nominated. Yeah. Well, we need three. Yeah. So or at least well. Two. well our thinking is, um, you know, for the others, they still had time left in their terms. So, we have to mm -hmm. so the select board can appoint right. um, in, an interim yep. person. If we can find somebody else. So that's, that'll mm -hmm. be, and actually, let me write that down. So, so, um, so we'll work on that. Mm -hmm. um, Lincoln tax collector, um, I assume and hope will run the one. doing a great mm -hmm. job. Yeah, he is. He needs to start messing that up if he doesn't want that job. <laughs> and our grand juror and law agent would probably be the 
I mean, we can talk about this at the pre-town yeah. meeting too. But mm -hmm. so for the cemetery commissioner, I just want to I I am going to contact the cemetery commission, and I just wanted them to make sure that they have somebody there to nominate mm -hmm. someone. Right. And we don't have what we had last year. Yeah. So that right. what happened last year doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. Well, I know Patty was there last year. She just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I guess she so had did a, they fill the position? No, somebody ran. Somebody, somebody ran. ran. Somebody ran. Now meeting Lee yeah. Seiberg, and okay. he's been trying to be involved, but there hasn't been that much to do. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so they got a full crew right now. Yeah, yeah. they are. So but someone who wanted paid. to stay on apparently got off. Yeah. yeah. But right. somebody, somebody's term is up, and who, you know, if they want to continue okay. and have a new term, the cemetery commission mm -hmm. needs to know that. So there's needs somebody, to there. right. have somebody well, there to yeah. say so. Patty, That's what happened Patty's last year. Yeah. Yeah. Patty Garbeck is up, so. Yeah. She usually comes to town meeting. Yeah. And um, as far as the library committee, have they they'll pretty much have a slate to nominate, do you think? Or Yeah, we ha we do have two that are resigning. Mm -hmm. Um so we're looking. Okay. Yep. Okay. And is in the in the bylaws or whatever, is there a certain number that have to be on that committee or is there some isn't it five know. still for the same, Diana? Uh, and hopes? Yeah, the library has, has a whole separate set of statutes. Okay. So, plus this library committee at one point many years ago made their se some separate bylaws or maybe a charter. I don't know what it was called, but I don't know if anybody even knows where that is anymore. That's when they changed to have like staggered terms, not all right. three year terms, one or some or two, mm -hmm. some or one. And then, Diana, are you usually the agent to... Yeah, although I wasn't able to do anything. I was hoping I could sign the deeds for the store, but uh. what's-his-name said, our attorney, our <coughs> Paul, said, well, you know, you better, better let Michael do it. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you should have told him. <laughs> Stole the thunder. <laughs> and... Um, is Steve going to, or is it Steve whose term Steve is up? Steve is up, yeah. I hope, I hope he's going to run again. I hope okay. he'll run for moderator. I hope he'll run for moderator for the right. oh, the, the union district, too. Okay. Like the that was pretty nice to him actually getting the moderator yeah. for union district with yeah. mm -hmm. being in Hardrick and a vote in right. Hardrick. Yeah. 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 Now should, the, uh, should, should we contact him about that to make sure, or? Call him and, okay. you know, you can encourage him to run. I guess that's all you can do is say, I hope you're going to run again. Right. He's the chairman there, so mm -hmm. I think he's being pretty well respected. So as far director. as the moderator, though, is that something, that, that would be something that the district board... Would, that's going to be at the... Uh, at that uh, yeah, 18th of the February 18th? Oh, sued, uh, right. Yeah, the 18th is. meeting. Right. Yeah. Okay. Where's that going to be this year? Elementary. Yeah. He's in elementary. Yeah. Yeah. They're having two meetings. I don't know why, but one of them is where their annual meeting where they'll elect the officers and there'll be election of board members. Um, and then on the night before town meeting, they're having a meeting to discuss the budget. I right. don't know why they couldn't do them both at the same meeting, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, and I don't know. I have to find out whether for that annual meeting, if I have to show up with a checklist and all that. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I know. Um, I was at, at the I was at the O S E U D mm -hmm. meeting last week. Um, yeah. And they, you know, they were discussing trying to how how to get, um, you know, public publicity out about the two different meetings. Um, mm. And um, I had mentioned that we have the town has a website now so i think mm -hmm. i'll recontact uh, phoebe slater she mm -hmm. was going to send uh, something to laura mm -hmm. since, to get it posted on the website mm -hmm. yeah so i'll remind her of that and, um, i think they probably get to... copies of the warnings but that's not always the best way to do things because the warning right kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> they just say, this is the meeting. Come vote. Yeah, right. <laughs> so last year we elected um, Kim to a three-year term and Phoebe to a two-year term, but it's all different now. There, um, yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe is, is up again for the union yeah, board. And, and she, she is, is planning, running. she's planning on yeah. running. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. somebody has, it'll be, it'll be interesting. 
I think in another year or two we'll be doing that all by Australian ballots. But right. all those meetings that we went to last year mm -hmm. that was decided for this year to do it from the floor. Mm -hmm. And I guess everybody gets to vote yeah. on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. So what if Hardwick puts up two people and one of them nobody likes? Or well, people from other towns don't like them. <laughs> they actually have a, vacancy, they have a vacancy. Really? Right oh, indeed. For Hardwick Crescent. Huh. Yeah. So we're trying to find people to do that. <laughs> okay. So we can check that off the list. Mm -hmm. So, um, the personnel policy. Um, so I made copies of my scratchings. I didn't, you know, as I reviewed it some more and got ready to, um, Type things in. I just realized I had more questions. It just seemed kind of futile to, <laughs> to write, type it all in, and then change it all again. So, um, so I made copies of my notes. Um, That's just, these. Yeah. yeah. So you guys could follow along. And um, so I thought we'd just go page to page, kind of go through it. And, and um, I had different questions and, and different things that I'd like to get input on. Now we have a personnel policy now. So yes, kind of an update to it. And this is the personnel policy that we have now. This okay. is the most current version. All right. This is June 20th, June 25th, 2018? Yes, okay. yeah, it's the most current. Um, so if, if we start, it, and it's pretty much um, my questions and the reason for kind of re-looking at the personnel policy has to do with the, the uh, um, personal, the leave time, um, you know, just the time benefits. Um, and also, you know, the, over the weekend I started looking at the insurance and I just got a whole bunch of kind of red lights over that too, just with the wording. So um, it's, it's about six pages worth of the personal policy that I wanted to go through. And so um, one of the things that we talked about last time was to come up with a definition for a full-time employee and a part-time employee. Um, so I... Just, you know, obviously full-time employee, um, but we could define it as somebody working 40 or more hours per week. I don't know if we need the or more or not. Um, we could just have it as 40 hours per week. Um, or you can or just say at least 40 hours a week. Yeah, okay. Anyway, whoever's people come to it. Yeah. And, um, and then I wrote in a line, which I don't think needs to be in the personnel policy, but we could have it in there. And at present applies only to the two town highway members working full time. Yeah. Doesn't really need it to be in there. Okay. And then part time, at first I thought, well, it would apply it would apply to the two town highway part time road crew members. Um, and based on an average of twenty hours per week. And then in the personnel policy, there are times when the town clerk and town treasurer are being being implied as the, and that's where you would see 18 hours um, per week. Um, what see, it shows up more in the insurance side than in the in the benefit side, mm -hmm. um, the time benefit side. So, I, I mean, we could have we could define a part time employee um, as working. Um, 18 hours or more per week. Yeah, we're not really employees, so I don't right. think we have to struggle with that too much. Okay, all right. We're, we're elected. So. Yeah. Okay, so we'll. Um, yeah, so that's off. Okay. So we may want to change some of that in the. In yeah, when we're defining that. 18 hours. Is there anything state wise, Paul? Do, there, do you know of any where they break the line between a part time employee or is it anything? I think over 30. I think it's over 30 is where the you become a, a full time. Well, yeah, you're eligible good. for insurance. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay. got a lot of rules that kick in. So right. under thirty, we correct. Right. Okay, so and we'll we'll, we'll have the, once we make these changes and we're happy with them, have we'll have this vetted by the league review it. Yeah. Yep. The VLCT will review it. And so the twenty fine. hours a week is a good number. Then yeah. So now. let's let's yeah. stick with twenty hours. Okay. So all right. Twenty, um, 20 for what? Part time. For part time. That's yeah. how we'll Less than twenty. Or? Uh, twenty hours or more. Because right, right now we're kind of facing the, the part-timers are definitely both averaging 20 hours a week, mm -hmm. um, even in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So uh, that seemed to be a good, a good number. I mean, we yeah. can make it less. But what we're trying to do is not have, uh, you know, ballot clerks who work two hours yeah, ballot a year. Clerks don't I mean, technically don't that's part-time. Yeah. Um, 
Well, I don't so, know even get paid. I mean, I could drop it down to 18 hours. Well, how about mm -hmm. Laura's? You only work eight hours. Well, so that's 12. Is um, a different category now, or? Well, so far, by so far, the assisted assistant town clerk and the assistant town treasurer seem to be in their own separate category that has nothing to do with the personal Okay, calls. so they're, they're appointed like, I mean, I appoint my assistant and Brandy right. appoints so her we, assistant. So we, we could have it addressed in the personal yeah. policy or we could have it, have this special case. What I would like to do is have it, if even if, if it isn't addressed in a general way in the personnel policy, it would be good to have it written down as maybe a, a, an addendum mm -hmm. in the personnel policy mm -hmm. so that there's something written somewhere mm -hmm. um, that we can go by. So uh, right. that's what we should do, at least right now what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You mean so, the only one of those, Blur is the only one that works a regular schedule. Right. The others are all sort of on call right. as yeah. needed. But we have in the and past. getting benefits at a prorated rate already. Um, so, well, in some ways, yes, in some ways, not. That's the whole, that's part of why we're doing this. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll leave that up to you and Brandy. I know that Tom has, has you know, there's been select board approved special things for him. Mm -hmm. And same with Laura. If, if you guys want to keep it that way, that's mm -hmm. fine. It, it just would be nice to have it written down and stated in the current personnel policy. If you want to try to mm -hmm. cover someone like Laura, who is working regular hours and have it be in the personnel policy, then we can try to make that happen mm -hmm. too. So that would be up to you. And I don't know how, how you guys feel about that, if that would be... To, to me, it's just long for documenting right down what we do. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. just so it's equal and fair, so you, you know what you're doing. Yeah, as long as it's on paper so that we can remember what we did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, All right. yeah. That's Next the year. thing, because collect, collective memory, you know, or... Yeah, it's not good. Oh my God, we don't have enough postage for that. <laughs> and we're all getting older. So, um, so looking at the whole heading of leave time, the first thing that we come to is sick time. Um, and it starts out, a full-time employee shall earn 120 hours, and then part-time employees um, are pro, based on a prorated basis. So... Um, at this point in time, we have the two part-time road crew members, and I'm kind of basing the pro rating on t the 20 hours a week that they kind of average, mm -hmm. just for a figure to work from. Um, and then it, it um, under sick time, it mm -hmm. defines the different categories that can be used as sick time. Um, and then in my sc red scratches here, um, so it sounds like we'll, we'll um, not have the assisted assistant town clerk and the assistant town treasurer be considered as prorated under the part-time heading that they'll have a separate category where all of their, the different benefits will be written out. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with Tom, but we should talk Tom about it. Tom doesn't receive okay. any sick time, mm -hmm. nor does he right. request it. Okay. Now, um, but he gets something, right? He gets vacation. In, yeah. in the holidays. In the wording for sick time, there is no mention of the town clerk or the town treasurer. Mm -hmm. um, but I assume that you do have sick time. So I would it's like prorated. something. Yeah, so it's prorated mm -hmm. based on the number of hours you work for. Okay, right. so. So annually we get 54 hours for the part versus the 120 for a full time. Okay, so you get 54 hours. And that's based on how many hours working per week? 18 hours? Yeah. Okay, so all of You can accrue up to 240, but nothing over 240. Okay, all right. Yeah. So um, I'll, that'll be another line in, in under yeah. In my opinion, there's a document what we're doing yeah. in the policy. Is that in there already, Brandy? It is. It's no, it, somewhere? Why it not? is not. It's, it's actually in, not. Really? It's not in there anyway. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. It's like, just, let's just oh, okay. put down what we're doing. Because yeah. I know where you have. Yes. Yeah. I know. So I can pull out the binder when I started. It was yeah. all done by hand written. Marsha yeah. did it, and yeah, mm -hmm. they were all receiving sick time. Yeah. Yep. So if you just never made it into these renditions. So um, mm -hmm. on to uh, vacation time. So uh, let's see. Again, um, yeah, again, the town clerk and the town treasurer are not mentioned. In vacation time. Well, it uh, says part-time shall earn prorated yes. basis. 
but at this point we're defining part-time as the two part-time road crew members who work 20 hours average per week. So we, um, I would like to, again, like in sick leave, I would like to have it written in that yeah, just, yep, the right town in what treasurer you're doing. and mm -hmm. the town clerk. Um, just write it as it's... You could put a <coughs> separate thing so, for elected. Yeah, elected officials. Um, well, actually, no, it would just be... Yeah, because then it just, gets complicated. Yeah, approved. it's just town treasurer and town clerk. So it's a, is it on a prorated basis based on the 54, based on the 18 hours per week? Okay. And um, okay, so we'll. And do you, is there anything kind of established about you know uh, after one year, after three years, a certain amount of? Oh, it still goes. Yeah. To, ever since I started, it still goes to the one, three, five, and twelve. So you could reference that. Okay, so and then it would be safe. So you've done this mm -hmm. before. <laughs> so Tom is the only ex that, that um, gets the twenty hours. Um, that has maintained that for the last okay. four so, years. So when I go to write this in, I'll, I'll get the number of hours from you. Okay. Okay. So um, personal time, again, it's full-time employees, um, 24 hours of personal time per year. Part-time will be the two road crew members, um, basically 12 hours um, per year. Um, the town treasurer and the town clerk are mentioned um, mm -hmm. in this heading. So, and then there, the, in the second paragraph, um, it's, you know, it's, it says in, the, in this heading that personal time does not accrue, but then it says any accrued but unused personal time. So my feeling is, is to cross out accrued and just use unused. So it would read, any unused personal time will be forfeited by the employee on June 30th of each year if not used. And then a short sentence saying personal time does not accrue. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Just to make it a little clearer. Mm -hmm. um, so overtime, obviously, that's for full-time road crew members. Although there are some kind of confusing things in here too. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just. So um, says when when a road crew member. Um, so my wondering is, it says road crew only. So should we say full-time road crew only rather than road crew only, which would imply both full-time and part-time? Correct. So full-time mm -hmm. yeah. would be better than that. And it the 40 hours. Yeah. So, yeah. so that would help with all of the other mm -hmm. stuff here that, that I was yeah. scratching and read about. Um, so when a road crew member is called in on a Saturday or Sunday, obviously um, full-time. And I'll say full time every time, just so that there's mm -hmm. no confusion. Um, and then, as far is as that's still something that you think is fair and warranted, if somebody comes in for an hour, that they get paid for three hours. Yeah, that was the same question I would ask. If you're not going to pay the overtime rate, then you'd still have so the you'd still have the three hours for a call in on a, even on a part time guy, but it would be at straight time rates, right? Well, um, potentially. Yeah, I mean, the overtime, the, this whole issue on overtime would not. Yeah, so would time. So we should probably have a clause there if a part time, if part time are called in, they would, would they receive time and a half or not? Well, it doesn't look like you're paying them time and a half for anything else because no. they're not over the 40 hours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The you question would that, just be become is... whether you're going to give them the three hours for coming in. Right. Yeah, that's always been a standard to... to, to it has been, because it's sort of make you think, oh, do I really need this? Right, yeah. Because if it's only yeah. a 15-minute job, yeah. I'm going to call or, them in. It makes it work the person's while yeah. they come in. Yeah. I don't know, in the past, most of the guys have always tried to work them in. Yeah. As close to three yeah. hours as they usually, can. It's not usually call, a yeah. problem, because yeah, I know my state job's four hours, yeah. but yeah. I, have, I can't think of two weeks. Mm. This is they yeah. called yeah. me in, and I didn't work at least four hours. Mm. And I know Greg has said that if, if, you know, if, he, call, if he goes in, you know, or if he calls folks in, then they do try to work. You know, they do work the full, full three hours. Yeah, because what I would so they don't just go down and cut one tree out of the road yeah. and get three hours. Right. Although they could, it's just they could. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's but, that's the issue. I, I think it should. If, if the intent is to, no problem with doing the full time. It's just the part time. I think the the intent should be the same. They get their three hours, but it's at straight time rates. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah. So what about the part timers? Do you know? Do we just pay them their hourly rate? Yeah, because I don't say you can pay them overtime because you're not over forty hours. Okay. Yeah. So, so they would get a minimum of three hours, no they matter. They get a minimum of three hours. Yeah, their base right. pay. And that's not that's if you're called in, not yeah. if you're scheduled. Like if we're scheduling someone to come in on Saturday for a special day, that doesn't. But for anybody who, but the full timers, if they get called in on Saturday or Sunday, they not only get a minimum of three hours, but it's always on one and a half. Well, time. Chances Even are if they that haven't put in their, well, yeah, what you I guess you're assuming that they have put in their right. forty. Yeah. That's yeah. that's yeah. A, that. What we mean by it's call in. It's not. It's not a. Yeah, they're going to put their forty in every week unless they're on vacation or out sick or something. But mm -hmm. so um, I imagine these trees fall in hole in the road, a washout type thing where you got to come in extra, and all of a sudden, yeah. So uh, I'll put the same clause in um, for the next paragraph. For compensatory. Time, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, not uh, for um, no, working sorry, beyond yeah. the regular. Yeah. Because <coughs> yeah. okay. we're not paying part time, overtime. No. No. I don't no. Think um, okay. What's the difference between a road crew member and a non exempt employee? Well, um, I had to look all that up when we had the issue with Harry, and, and um, mm -hmm. a non exempt employee is basically someone who's not on salary. Right, they're not management. Certain yeah. you're, you're, you're management, right. FSLA employees. Yeah, there's a whole, it's a, oh, okay. so it's like defined in the federal labor right. law. There's certain, yeah. in, okay. there's yeah. certain jobs, that they, they tried that with my job, they tried to say I was a not, I was an exempt employee and then after a year they had to go back and fix it. Right, and that's what we did with Harry. We said that he was an exempt salary. employee. Because it was illegal. And it was illegal. And according yeah, to the labor laws, it. no. He was can't not. do that. So, yeah. so he was owed. The There's lots of little trick, little places you can get in trouble if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. sir. <laughs> yep. um, so then the last paragraph under overtime, any work on a federal, state or federal holiday will be compensated at one and a half times the employee's regular rate of pay. And then if the, if the part-timers are there on a holiday, they would get the holiday, their prorated holiday time plus the their hours that they work. Time, yeah. 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 So you're saying that they would get the time and a half? Yeah, say if they came in, <coughs> say it was um, pre just, President's no Day, day. President's day or whatever, and so they, pr there would be a prorated amount of holiday pay that they would get for that. Um, and then they work three hours, so they would get the prorated holiday time hours, mm -hmm. and they would also get the three hours that they worked. But straight time. Straight time, yeah, yeah it would be straight okay, time. Okay, so you're going to, because the way that looks now, it's an end Yeah, so I'll fix the wording on that. So that's what we're doing now, right? They get straight time. Okay. I just want to make sure we're carefully documenting what yeah. we actually do. I'm not intending to add or to take mm -hmm. away anything. Yeah, so I'll designate that between full time and part time. Okay, so now on to comp time. Mm. And again, um, the comp time and. Uh, would be again for full time road crew only because it basically is dealing with a different way of. Um, right, it's one and a half. Yeah, instead of pay, time. you get yeah. time. So I don't think we'd have to change anything else under comp time. Comp time. Do these guys take comp time? Or do yes. They, hard, they, they do, do sometimes, yeah. Greg does. Yeah. Park, uh, Grizz. Grizz. Yeah. So okay. if comp time, do you also get 1.5? Yeah, you get an hour and a half for each hour. Yeah, just it's like you time that you would have would have charged <coughs> overtime for, yeah. or been paid overtime for. Hmm. So in that comp time, it says part-time employees will receive prorated holiday pay based on the number of hours the employee is regularly scheduled to work on that holiday. So um, that? it's in. Uh, it's on page. The top of page 13, but it's part of comp, comp time. I'm not really sure why. It should be maybe under holiday pay. Maybe we should. I guess we should move that over to holiday pay, shouldn't we? It doesn't seem like it's. There's more holiday stuff over here on page 13. It seems like it should be under holiday time. Which I can just. So that whole. So. So, um, so we're back on holiday time, I guess. Um, Part-time employees will receive prorated holiday pay based on the number of hours the employee is regularly scheduled to work on that holiday. So, um, 
I have, you know, I have a question about this. I'm wondering if we should just, you know, the two part-time road crew members, it is sort of set up that one part-time member works Monday and Tuesday, the other one works Wednesday and Thursday, and sometimes they switch off Fridays. I wonder if we should just have it be that they get a prorated for every holiday, whether or not they work on the day that, I mean, whether it would be a day. It just, it could, could be very confusing. I worked, I worked that out somewhere. Um, oh, where, where's the holiday part here? So, for instance, the 4th of July is on Saturday this year. Right. Do the road crew still get their eight hours of... So the road, full-time people they would. They should, yeah. Yeah, because it says, it does say that um, um, at, holidays at, falling on a Saturday will be observed the preceding Friday. Friday. So they could take that Friday off. Or they should, yeah. Yeah, they should. That's what they and should. they would get the full holiday. If it's on a Sunday, days. you'd celebrate the holiday on Monday. Monday, yeah. Right. So, you can't just put in for time and a half because it's over your 40 hours. Right. So part-timers, you know, like some of them work on Monday, some of them work on Wednesday, Thursday, um, and there are some holidays that, mm -hmm. you know, like New Year's Day, Independence Day, that, um, Christmas, you don't really know what day it's going to fall mm -hmm. on. It changes. I'm wondering if we should just have kind of a blanket thing where for the holidays, the part-time employees receive a holiday benefit Pro based, you know, on the prorated 20 hours a week, so they would basically get half a day's holiday pay for each holiday. For each of them. For each of them, yeah. That seems like the fairest way to do it. Fairest and easiest. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if not, it's like, well, he got he got he got the holidays, and I only got one, and yeah, I think I like that. I think I want to work on that Monday. Tom gets two hours every holiday. Okay. Yeah. Laura gets the holiday if it's a day that she was. Planning to work, mm -hmm. scheduled to work. If it's a Monday mm -hmm. holiday, she gets four hours. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, so um, what I would say there is part time holiday prorated based on number of hours. And at this point, it's 20. So basically, it would be a half a day. Actually, they work nine hours, but let's say, let's call it four hours. Yeah, because as of now, the full-time road crew, it's eight hours per holiday. Straight. It's yeah. not nine, what they typically mm -hmm. work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Correct. Okay, so then, um, this is more holiday stuff. Um, employees required to work on a designated holiday will receive time and a half. So again, that should be full-time. Right, full-time. And then part-time. Um, regular base pay. Base. Yep. And then holidays that fall during an employee's vacation leave will not be charged as vacation leave. That's fine. Yeah. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. true. Okay. So that's the um, that's the time stuff. Yeah. So um so I have just a bunch of questions with the insurance and, and maybe just So we're good we missed page twelve. Do you have any questions on twelve? Uh, did I miss page 12? Yeah, we skipped over because okay, we switched. See, I, yeah, I've got... So we fixed the holiday for Martin Luther King. It looks like we changed President's Day, Washington's birthday to President's Day. Yeah. So, and you, oh, yeah, okay. you added Martin I'm sorry. Luther King? I'm we sorry. did. We did that at the last meeting. Yeah, so Martin Luther King has been added. Um, well, the day after Thanksgiving uh, is always a Friday, which we don't work, so... And that's on. But ours is off to floaters. We do, right, we so that would be, you know, that's kind of a floater for either another day with Christmas or another day with Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. Well, we had changed it to the day after Christmas, mm -hmm. but it's hunting, and it always has been in, in the policy the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. well, so is it? Should be. It should stay that way for the road crew, yeah, that they get the Friday or, after Thanksgiving off, because mm -hmm. it's still hunting. Yeah, could we, could we make it optional that... You know, um, have Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, and then optional to have another holiday connected to either Christmas or. That's kind of the way it is with a floating holiday. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put a we'll put a I'll make a line for that. Usually, a floating holiday works. They assign you eight hours of comp time, and then you 
use it whenever you want. Huh. Yeah, we sometimes do that on other holidays, like, you know. If it's on a Friday, like, yeah, it's like a, use it. Labor Day is a Monday or week. Veterans Day or some holidays that you, if you have to work, you have to do, um, choose to work on that day and take another day off. And that only applies to town clerk, treasurer, right. and the garage people. Correct. Um, unless, you know, there's something different stated from the town clerk and the town treasurer. Um, employees will receive holiday pay at the employee's regular rate of pay. And road crew employees may count holiday paid towards hours actually worked, which is different from the other. And that's how you calculate your overtime. So you have yeah. a holiday on a Monday and you work extra on Friday. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's, it's counted as hours yeah. worked. So you can, yeah. yep. you get... Yeah. Whereas if you took personal time, sometimes sick wide, like for the state, sick time is not considered hours. If I take yeah. took so. today off sick, I can't say I worked two hours extra. Well, yes, vacation, vacation annually is considered hours actually worked usually. Yeah. Really? Only, I know for us, personal time, mm -hmm. uh, compensatory time, and uh, what's the other one? Comp time for annual leave is all considered hours yeah. actually worked. Mm -hmm. So we do we cover every, I think everything else is okay on page twelve. Yeah. And we change the holiday. Yep. And one you change the name on something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll move these actually okay, that's where my confusion came from. The holiday stuff was under holiday time. It was, the page was just messed up. Yeah, see I, I have yeah. on two sides and you guys have on one. Yeah, we have one, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that was my own confusion. We weren't being very paper friendly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um so the insurance, um, and um, my first question was, you know, who receives, who receives this, and who okay. receives what if, under the insurance benefits, and uh, the town clerk, town treasurer, and the two town yeah. road crew members. Yeah. No, clerk and treasurer don't get anything. Well, you don't well, get no, anything. We can, okay. We can pay ourselves. Oh, okay. If we so want it's just the two road crew members then. Yes, that yeah. the yeah. 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 And only one takes it. So yeah, provisions of the of, so under health insurance. So let's start with insurance benefits. The town offers group insurance programs for the benefit of its eligible employees. Should we define? Well, it sounds like it's just the two road crew members. Full time. Yeah, yeah, it needs to yeah. just say full time. Just so say to its full time mm -hmm. employees. That's what okay. it should say. Good point. So not eligible or full time. That now one of them takes the insurance, the other one takes... Yeah, and, there, and there's other... And we're offering it. Yeah. Generally, you work a deal, I'm assuming you're... You know, yeah, something and that, for that's, not that's in here under the yeah. sub, sub headings. yeah. So um, the town reserves... Okay, so that's all kind of... So with health insurance, um, the provisions of this subsection relating to health insurance shall apply to the town clerk and town treasurer. And I had a question mark under there. Do you that? have the option... To if we wanted to pay ourselves out of pocket. Okay. We could on the plan. Okay. okay. It says if you worked at least 30 hours a week, they'll pay. The town will pay some. Yeah. Or you could opt in. Yeah. Provided yeah. the income. Okay. So, so I think you're doing what no, it says, I, right? I don't think. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think we can just opt in and pay our own. Did you say that? It. The 30 hours a week. Each full time employee equivalent. So yeah, it does kind of. They're out of pocket. You know, the word provided pretty much sets a term, uh, a criteria for that. So if you work, it has at least to the amount of equivalent hours you work. Hours right. I think that was in there um, in case, you know, in the past there have been times where yeah. the town clerk and the town treasurer have been the same person, person right. and probably right. were working 30 yeah. hours. Right. So, um, and then um, I wasn't sure, and Randy <coughs> can confirm this, but I don't think we were doing a health and reimbursement account anymore. So that whole rest of that paragraph should be basically yeah. struck from the yeah. personnel so policy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So page 14. So, um, and then the, that final paragraph under health and... So then the next section is health insurance premium assistance. Um, and I know that Greg Parkhurst... Right, which is where you're paying some of the, or all of the, what right. you're paying, I got you. So you're getting a benefit. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Not and enough, then, but... Yeah. 
And then while while we're doing that, um, while Should we're going, fair, going through this, I also provided you guys with there's an appendix that that kind of tells what the different benefits are that the town is now giving. So it'd be good to have that pulled out. It's kind of the last page of. Um, hang on, I'm getting a post cold meltdown here. <laughs> The last page of our little thing? Yeah, there's a, an a, appendix two. I think it's two pages. So the last two pages. Now. <clears throat> the most so this helps to kind of follow along. Um, so under health insurance, um, in the appendix two, we should probably change. We no longer have the Vermont Health Connects Platinum Plan, so we should probably change that. Okay. Um, but we're still paying 85% of the MVVP plan, whatever, whatever it is. Um, so then, under um, health insurance premium assistance, um, after reading the appendix, I realized we probably should have checked in with Greg Parkhurst to see if there were any changes mm -hmm. coming for his the health insurance that he has under his wife. Right, it says we're supposed to be looking at this annually in November. There's, in November. there's no yeah. reason to have that $185 per month no, in that's, there. That's old. That's no. Yeah, that's, that's not. not that's, that's not, not in the. Room. That's not in the current one. That's why. And that's what this addresses. Um, where the select board should annually re review with Greg Parkhurst if his health insurance, that he, the amount that his wife is paying for him to be on her health insurance, mm -hmm. has increased, um, then the town will make to that change. Us, right? Yeah. And he didn't say anything to me or Brandy about it. But I'll check in with him about that. I should have done that. So do you need to have this, this stuff about no, you're, you're looking at it actually an older... Yeah, you're yeah. looking at all. Yeah, that's all not in there. So, um, so dental insurance. Um, town pays premium costs of dental insurance for employees and their dependents. Um, and then it, it does say employees must work a minimum of 18 hours per week. And this was put in here so that the town clerk and the town treasurer would be eligible. So I assume that. So are two part time. Yeah, and so so again, that brings up the issue. So under the way it's worded now, so would the, the part time employees. Mm -hmm. So um, we can change the wording um, to designate that the town clerk and the town treasurer um, receive this benefit, or we could leave it as is and include the two part time road crew members. What would be the cost? That's what we would have to research. Yeah. So this is a this kind is of a question mark. So I think we should leave that as a question mark right okay, now. So let's mm -hmm. leave it as a question Because we're not, they don't have this benefit now, they right? They do not have that bridge. No. Leave to be researched. Okay. And Brandy, would you be willing to do that? To just find out what... Oh yeah, I can get your numbers right now. Well, let's not worry about it right now. <laughs> um, so we'll look into this. Um, and then would we, because they're part-time, well, actually, you know, if they're working pretty much the same number of hours as the town clerk and the town treasurer, I guess prorating them and not prorating. So that's another question. Yeah, so in these areas, you're going to have to call out the positions or you're going to have to do it equally. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right, so we would either have to prorate for everyone if we, um, or we would pay the full. Money. And then um, the vision plan, um, it doesn't... Um, for employees and their dependents, employees sleep for the cost of the deductible, and it doesn't mention whether the town clerk and the town treasurer get this or not. Well, the one I have here is that the provision of the subsector relating to the vision plan shall apply to the town, the town clerk, clerk and the, the town, town treasurer. treasurer. Is what this one says. Okay, all right. Town pays vision plan for employee. And that that's in yours? Yeah. That's not in mine. Yep. Oh, under the health thing here. Under okay. a vision plan. Yeah. Okay, so all right. Okay, I forgot to look over this side. <laughs> I have chosen not to take it. Okay. I, so, have, I don't get anything else, so I take that. Okay, so again, it, you know, should this be offered to um, the part-time? Well, I think this question goes back to the number of hours again. Yeah. I think it should mm -hmm. that 20 hour or 18, whatever yeah. you have it be. Yeah, you yeah, just can't. Just be consistent. For three hours. Could, yeah. We just want to get away from this piecemeal if there's a certain amount of hours. Yep. Yeah. Or name the positions that you yeah. intend to pay. Yeah. So again, that would stay in the question. We need to find out what that would cost and see what we want to mm -hmm. do. Because they're not doing it right now, I take it. Vision is 906. Per employee. As long as it's single. 
Okay. Yeah, once you start getting into family plan, that's that's awesome. Awesome. we'll have to discuss that one. Yeah. Something for a double. Yeah. Right. That's pretty year. expensive pretty that's fast. Per month. Yeah. So yeah. should we have that stated in um, whatever we decide? Should we have it a stated in the actual personnel policy also? And it, it's stated in the appendix, but it's not yeah. stated in the actual personnel policy. It should. It should be. Okay, so uh, whatever. I'm no, it is. Well, no, this section's here on my page 14 has dental insurance and vision plan. Yeah, but that's that's not the current copy that you Okay. Um, so whatever we decide should be here. Um, whatever we decide mm -hmm. stated. We took that out? Uh, yeah, I guess so, and we never noticed it. Mm. Um, so life insurance, um, so provisions of this section um, shall apply to full, I, I kind of wrote in full-time town employees and to the town clerk and town treasurer, yeah. provided the incumbent is regularly scheduled to work at at least 18 hours well, per week. Right. Um, so again, this, this brings up... Um, well, it yeah. almost seems like we're not doing it now. If we wanted to just reflect what we're doing, I think you could leave that language the way it is because it calls out the positions. Mm -hmm. Except take out the 18 take hours. A, take out the 18 hours. Just call mm -hmm. out the... That would save us because it looks like it'd get really expensive really fast. So... Yeah, and it does um, seem kind of crazy to offer life insurance to a part-time So just say we'd offer uh, to the full-time employees okay. and the town clerk and the town treasurer. Okay. That um, would be the easiest thing, I think, in yeah. all of those. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. that's what we're doing yeah. right now, yeah. and that just keeps us that as well. Yeah, okay. so. yeah the subs can really... Then we won't get caught up in the hours. Just you, mm -hmm. You've got a part-time job, and right. that's just has... Yeah. yeah. So, um, so what I'll do in the next two paragraph sentences under life insurance, I'll just... Um, flesh out employees to say full-time employees clerk, and the town clerk and town treasurer. Yeah. Just, okay. All right. That so would simplify that. Yeah. And same then thing with the disability. Disability. Yeah. Disability yeah. should be the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Because again, I just Although intended this, to just reflect case, what we're doing. Provided the incumbent is regularly scheduled to work at least 17 and Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that, where that came from. Yeah, I don't know where that so, came from. Yeah. So same as a lot of times these change for to correct a specific problem and then the problem's mm -hmm. gone and you don't remember what was done. There was a reason why it was. Really, I'm sure there was a reason. I think it was something. I think I it was something. You don't get a number like 17.5 without there being a reason. <laughs> okay, so um, the retirement. Um, that's the last one we're going to worry about. Um, retirement benefits are only available to full-time employees. Town clerk, town treasurer, and town clerk. No. I don't think we get any retirement. The retirement is tricky with them because Where is that? What line are they on for It's here. M. It's on page 15. Yeah, it's um, not on yeah. mine either. I haven't got retirement. That's it's, not, it's not on the appendix. Okay. Well, 15. All right. I see what you're saying. And if yeah. you're, I think for the municipal employee retirement program, it's probably pretty strict. It's pretty, pretty specific. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, retirement is tricky for an elected official because you know, they yeah. are, they're, they're kind of, their work is dependent on getting reelected every week. Yeah. And, and it says a minimum of 24 hours per week on a regular yeah. basis. So I think we should just yeah. leave put, that. Just put full-time employees? Put nothing, yeah, just, I think just leaving it the way it was probably. Okay. Are the full-time, I think they are. They, they work at least, they at least work 24 hours. That's, yeah. I bet that's right out of the policy for the retirement, I bet. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay, yeah. all right, so we'll leave it as is. It's another one of those numbers that I'm sure didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. I would leave it as it is. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, so so I, I don't think there's any review to do then as far as money, because I think we fixed the part we're worried about. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do the research on um, the dental insurance and the vision. Well, plan. we don't even need to do that. We're going to switch that and just call out the employees, full-time town employees, town clerk, town treasurer. Is that what we decided? Oh, um, no, we didn't decide that on those two. We did on the other two. That's we did on the other two. So why don't, that's what I'm thinking on all of them. On all of them? Right. Because okay. mm -hmm. right. I don't think our focus here was to add a benefit. It was mostly right. to document what we were yes, doing. To, to, yeah. yeah, and just to change any problems. That so if somebody wants to add okay. a benefit, we would need to have a conversation. So sick and personal time? The part-time employees are going to start, the part-time highway crew are going to start receiving sick and personal time. Yes. Yes. Correct. And, and vacation. They already have vacation. Okay. And holiday. Sick, and the, 
personal Pro -rated. And holiday. Same holiday. personal and holiday. Prorated, yeah. um, the four hours. When do you want to have that start? Uh, for the year or? For, I mean, for when the, the fiscal year or? What's easiest for you to calculate it? Well, yeah, we, we need to. Well, no, you guys have to make a decision. We, it, it has to be vetted. I mean, I'll right. make the changes. Um, we'll review it again and approve the changes. They're not currently getting those. So we could have it give us some time. It could be a next fiscal year, July 1st. Then. Could be the next fiscal year. Yeah. yeah. Start accruing. In any case, it should be after town meeting because yeah. we have right. changes. I like, I like to maybe the start of the fiscal year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Well, they're not budgeted for. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have this whole week. Well, I think. I think. <laughs> I think we'll be able to take a little bit from the. Than last year. It from is. The I'm budget. trying to keep it there. You <laughs> saved us a little money, so we can spend some more, right? <laughs> I think there'll be a cushion in the overtime that we have budgeted. Well, I don't know, I know after that. this week. You well, saw today's. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, we'll hope we'll while the snow and you start melting. We'll be, right. We'll be mm -hmm. fine. Let's see. It depends on what winter does. But thing, kind of. The groundhog thing. Yeah. <laughs> but we had, yeah, a, no. we had a cushion from last year. Last year, there was a lot of yeah. overtime. So, okay, so let me. Well, we got to review it and decide this, yes, yeah. this is exactly what so, we want to do. So. so, this is one thing. If we can get it typed up, then we'll go over it. I could yeah. get this <clears> typed up. Um, and if we wanted to have, um, you know, we, I could send it to you guys. You could just look at it. I could also send it to VLCT to have them review it before. Actually, they probably won't. My guess is they might not have time to do that. Um, so when I talked with them today, um, you know, they're kind of maxed out with town meeting day coming up. So we, well, that payroll audit. Yeah. So I got my audit. Next. So chances are. They might not be able to redo it in a couple of weeks. That's what we could do. Because yeah. well, there's no huge. I think you get it to them. Right. Yeah, they true. probably make the most sense. I think we should review it at the next meeting. Okay, so yeah. I'll make the changes. And then get we can send them. it to them. Get it the way we get like it. it. First. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, if we look at it, we like it, then we send it to them, and then yeah. they'll tell yeah. us we're all wet. So would you like me to make the changes by crossing out things that we have changed and then have the written in there? Or Usually what you'll do is you just put a line through right. what you're yeah. taking out so, so you can still read it. So it's and then clear add, just add the next piece of language in the parentheses. Okay. All right. okay. So you're getting better with Microsoft Word? You find that oh yeah, I get all that yeah, stuff. What you want to do is just, <laughs> you just want to strike through what we're taking out where you can still yeah. read it. Yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah, that's, I like that. If that's you want to be really nice to us, yeah. highlight the new language in yellow. Oh, right. I yeah, we don't have a color printer, so forget it. I, I like the highlight in red, and it will show up on I tried the highlighting in black magic marker, but that's probably why I didn't do well in college. <laughs> couldn't, they, couldn't they print one off of the printer? Well, I have actually, <laughs> actually, if you highlight in yellow, it'll show up gray, which is fine. Yeah, it'll yeah, show up gray, yeah. yeah. I have, my printer will print. That color. just helps pop it out of your face. I know I do a lot of state rules that we got to strike through, and then you got to put the added language, mm -hmm. so you can still read the old language. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I will. I'll, for just these few pages, um, I can highlight it in another color, and I will print it out on my printer, which also prints it in the color. Your, your, your coloring dries out if you don't use it after a while, right. anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'll charge the town a huge bill for my age. Yeah. <laughs> we just donate you this color printer. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 As long as you don't have Windows 10. <laughs> oh, it's you Windows 10. Oh, no. It's not working Windows 10. Yeah, it's defunct. Too bad. Yeah. Hard yeah. Good. Good. Well, so all right, we're through that. Yeah. We're through that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now I've lost my agenda. Three, we're on uh, highway. Okay, there isn't much to you know, As far as that roads. dog complaint, did you, was anybody I, contacted it, to? I, I, I've got, that's, that's part of, yes, that's part of the updates and follow yeah. It's on the agenda. Okay. okay. So were the people we're, involved invited to come because it's no. a hearing? No. Oh, okay. No. Because <laughs> the hearing isn't happening yet. So oh, okay, okay. When, yeah. when it will happen and how it will happen okay. is. Or was the nursery dog one? I didn't hear about that, I guess. That was when Kim came before oh, us. So was this dog? Yeah. yeah and okay. he wanted to have a closet. We'll get to it. It's on the yeah, agenda. Yeah, yeah. So there isn't much under the town highway report. Um, I just, these are the old quarry road spur is basically an update. I sent an email to our town lawyer, um, Michael Tarrant, just wondering how he's doing on the, you know, the determination or whatever you call the thing. Our official should, finding. Yeah, findings, yeah. We don't want to, we still got plenty of time. We're, we're at 30 days now. We're at 30, so, so yeah. We need to get to this, yeah. He said he would have it to us by the end of the week. Okay, okay so good. we'll have it for the next week. So, um, so we could make it an official decision by the next week, yeah. potentially. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll have, have, we'll have done so we can yeah. move on to whatever's going to happen next. Yeah, I did mention to him that I wanted it, you know, well within the 60 days. So, so we'll have that for our next site board meeting. So the winter operations letter to our one winter whisperer resident. Do you think it's? I haven't heard anything at all. I, I, let's not. I think it seems quiet. It seems like I, a I got point. a I got a complaint uh, in the height of the nastiness. Right. And I just said, look. I had spoken with Greg Friday. They mm -hmm. were out twice at least mm -hmm. on Friday, yeah. so they're doing what they can do. It's it's the middle of a snowstorm. Sorry, yeah, they did stay late into the yeah, day. They did, and then yeah. they were out first yeah. thing Saturday. That yeah, was. So I had told them. I had talked to Greg, and I said yeah. they went out. And I they went by my house at six thirty or six or something mm -hmm. Friday night, and the complaint yeah. came. I said, look, I said, that's all they can do. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's just we'll let that that one fall through the cracks. I think. And then, you know, just, I don't really have much to update. I mean, obviously it was a pretty busy yeah. weekend. I know that they did, uh, there was another repair on one of the 10 wheelers. The one it's the three. spring broke. The spring broke, You yeah. saw the email I sent? Friday I sent. Yeah, it. I did. You know, we might have signed yeah. it. And they worked on a spring, I guess. Yeah, was going to Greg, Greg pointed out to me um, Friday, they, 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 they brought the truck in Sunday. Um, as a, there was a spring that had broken during the summer that they repaired, and then the other side, the same spring broke. Right. So it's being repaired. They were hoping to be able to get it back today. I don't know whether they did or not. Did they send that out? Yeah, they had to bring it to Charlotte Boys. Um, yeah, springs and stuff like that. Charlie Boys is a long ways away. Yeah, McLeod's is McLeod's. Good. I think they're using, I think he said it was going to McLeod's today. Was it? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's McLeod's. It's only 20 miles instead of. Okay, so I talked to yeah, Greg. I, I didn't know where I didn't know where it was yeah. going, but yeah. I knew that there were yeah stuff like that. I would yeah. hope that they would yeah use. McLeod's will do. Yeah. We we started using them at the firehouse. Yeah. Okay, good okay. for us. Yeah, so maybe they did. So things if we want to pass on, I, I can send an email if you want to just tell mm -hmm. me we need to um, uh, dig out the uh, island at the in front of the town hall. Okay, you know I did. I called the somebody's um, still plowing snow up yeah. there. I called the uh, post office person, and she said that it's the town road crew that's doing it. Okay, so they need to stop. So, because yeah. somebody just did it the last storm. Okay, so. okay. And, and I they, think if we can get those guys to go down and dig that out and yeah. get that snow out of there, okay. you can't see over it, and it's starting to creep out where you can't get in tough yeah, to get the fire. Yeah, that entrance is going. <laughs> yeah. So dig out things and. Build so that's mainly just the center section. Yeah. So the what the road, the state highway, doesn't want us plowing the snow up against the. Island and the because what happens when he hits it with the wing, it's blowing it all back in, hmm. filling it in. And then what it's doing is over time, it's building that snow out, and the entrance gets narrower and narrower. And the third problem is you can't see those banks yeah. get well, so high, high, you can't yeah. see to yeah. get out. So yeah. it really, they should they just push in. And I think we can fix it just by taking the loader, clean it up, and then for future just don't, yeah, don't yeah. push. This. I think Greg did go down with the loader once yeah. and didn't need to again. We had, we had a lot of snow after the snow. If they're yeah. down there with the loader, at all skate rink. Just bust in there. Bust that out. road out. Bust that road open a little bit for them too. Yeah. You know, I had the thought, you know, they plow a certain distance. They could plow right down to the skating rink. So if they could the, plow to the right of it straight by. Yeah, that's what they, okay. someone, Ronnie well, had done it. But what they're, yeah, what they're trying to do is, um, you know, kind of go some to the right, some to the left. So there isn't a lot of snow left where the, you know, to access the speed. Is we'd really like to have them clear that trail all the way down there. Yeah, somebody the had plowed it with a truck. Maybe it was wrong. <clears throat> I think it was all the way down. Probably now that. tractor over there once too and cleaned okay, up some stuff so it might have been, yeah. might have been you also, you know. Yeah. I cleared it up it Saturday back. morning with my snow pusher. Yeah, yeah. there's going to, there's some nice days. So if one of those guys yeah. wants to hop on the loader and just mm -hmm. run around and. I mean, we could ask them to plow just kind of try to have it open all the way down to the rink. I'm sure they would be... It's yeah, just there, there's enough room to go right down past the rink and keep that open right. for people. Yeah. I don't know if the snowmobile people would get mad if there's a big snowbank now. Well, I would, yeah, I would want them to put it. Because there is a snowmobile well, no other place there. to put it. Oh, you can't go around it and oh, go to the left not, behind not the state if, rink? Not if you go right down to the rink. There's just that... I mean, you could push it some to the right, but... Well, we can go down there with the loader, too, and the loader can just move yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We have a nice big loader. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's so, so, there. yeah. so maybe seeing if they would be willing to plow down to the rink. It gets a fair amount of use. Or use the loader. Yeah. yeah that's, I want to make it easy because we're letting them use the hoses and the water to mm -hmm. the firehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This seems popular, so we want to make sure they can yeah. facilitate yeah. that. Yeah. And you may want to look at when the road warms back up. Is uh, Greenwood Lake Road's got that heavy mealy like Cabot Road has on it. 
Oh, like the, the other day okay. it was really bad. So salted they, snow type of yeah, thing. They yeah, they just if they can suck wet, it, not till it warms up a little. But you know, if you get over yeah. there with the grater, and maybe cuff that off. It's it's okay. it's got ruts. It's bad. So County Road along Greenwood Lake. Well, no, the Greenwood Lake Road. From, oh, the Greenwood from there Lake to County Road. Road. I don't know. I haven't been down, but so from Route 14 down from Route 14 to County Road is pretty bad on the hill. It's all rutted, and so, the so corner the corner by Lords is all rutted. Okay. And I think if they got the grader in there and mm -hmm. did the same thing and just graded it down as hard as they could and took a loader or truck behind them and pushed them back. Okay. It's just, it, I went through with my truck and one wheel gets in one rut and one gets in mm -hmm. the other. Okay. But the other Friday it was soft. That was the complaint. I got right. somebody got stuck, their car bottomed right out in it. Oh, wow. So that's what I'm saying. If, they, if it warmed, it's supposed to warm up some this week. Yeah. If they get over there, it, it'd be the same thing as Cabot Road. It's just yeah. different kind of, for the, the lower yeah. cars are dragging. Yeah, they may, they may want to hit Cabot Road too. While yeah, they're, just, they're down there too. that's the thing for those sunny, warm yeah. days is get out there and start tearing, tearing that stuff yeah. up. Yeah, should be getting some of those pretty yeah, soon. Use, use the wing to push the snow way back. And this, this week, I think, t yeah, it's supposed to be tomorrow and Wednesday yeah. are supposed to be. Because it was and 20 below Saturday. zero on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> it was and then, frozen. <laughs> and then this coming weekend, it's going to be back. Yeah, back to Thursday. But anyways, it's for stuff. Okay. Lists I, of I'll, stuff if they got time yeah. to okay. throw someone on that loader and head it in okay. the grader just to go out and do that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, updates and follow ups. Um, the. Uh, uh, I should have written down all these things. The VORAC grant the, for the wetland dock that we uh, approved the application for. Um, Elizabeth and I met with the um, Orleans Southwest Elementary Union District Board and they gave the town permission to put Perfect. the dock on there. Excellent. I didn't bring up anything else. I had talked to um, one of our um, district reps earlier and um, they felt it would be best just to keep it to one thing. And So the other subject that I had mentioned last week about you know approaching the district board about transferring that piece of property that is deeded to them, um, to the town, um, we'll save that for a later date. Okay. Um, now, do they need any special permits to put a dock in a wetland like uh, that? Elizabeth has had oh, checked with that all okay. that's been, that's been, been okay, I'm sure they need so that's, that's so all. Can you go back and say what was verified? So the, the uh, Union District Board, uh, Elementary Board, um, voted to give the town permission to place the dock on the on their property. So basically the dock will go where the other dock used to be. Yeah, and so we have, you're using the school's tax ID or you're using our tax ID? It's a town project. It will be paid for through the town. Um, so everything, every, you know, it, it's not going to cost them anything. It's all through the town, so it will be the town idea. Yeah, they're they're just allowing the town to put this thing um, on their property. But the backup, the insurance, and everything, the school is going to be providing. It would that. be the same as what's okay. for everything else that's there on, on okay. the grounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll have to be paying up front until we get reimbursed. Well, we haven't even. Made adjusted. it through the first step of the. Okay. So this this is well into the future. But, uh, okay. Yeah, but it, it probably most of these grants are reimbursement grants, which would mean yes, would pay up front. Um, I, it might happen in fiscal year twenty one, um, if we're if we're lucky. Um, oh really? Yeah. Well, I think. Well, I don't want to be a pessimist. <laughs> so, but yeah, probably. Um, so the Village Stormwater Master Plan final design contracts. So the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission finally received, um, the contracts were signed with the Department of Environmental Con Conservation for them to pursue the final designs for the four village sites, all four sites. Um, so. That means that they'll be putting out an RFP soon to, um, for contractors to um, uh, put in bids to create the final design. This is, okay. So we're no longer waiting for DEC to, to kind of hick up and, and get their act together. Um, they have signed contracts with um, the Regional Planning Commission, so now they can proceed on, on um, getting the 
contracts for the final design. So that we should see some action on that pretty soon. Um, hopefully by spring, um, they will have um, um, picked their contractors and uh, we'll know who will be um, creating those final designs. And, and I'm hoping that um, for the final designs, for the, the school the wetland basin and for the um, infiltration basin that will be behind the annex building, that we can um, have that person um, give us their two cents on the, the road, road prep. Because uh, right. the, the better roads grant is based on... One shouldn't preclude yeah, the other. So. Right. Is, is based on... Um, uh, so, the nuisance um, dog hearing. Um, I talked to VLCT today, and I will send you the email. It came at the nth hour, so I didn't want to send it to you guys today, but I will send it to you um, later on tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. Um, I spoke with uh, Sarah Senning. She's one of the VLCT consulting lawyers. Um, and she, first of all, a quasi-judicial hearing. At this point, it's basically just a nuisance dog. It's not a vicious dog that's right. bitten anybody. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it was a vicious dog, then the quasi-judicial hearing. Yeah, sorry, so I, I have to um, let you know that there has been a complaint that the dog has attacked another neighbor's dog repeatedly. Okay, well, okay. I, yeah. I, I really? wasn't aware yeah. of that. But, um, has that person filed a complaint with the dog warden? Uh, no, she called here last, I think it was Thursday, and I told her there was going to be a meeting okay. about that it. That should get documented but by I should, and why. Yeah, I, should, I should have called it into camera yeah, time. If we're going to go that, we just want to make sure it's carefully documented of what, yeah. what it was, when it happened, who it happened to. Right. You know, and I talked with Kim yesterday about this to get a better sense of what, you know, what why he's, what his issues are with the, with this um, dog owner and dog. Um, but anyway, the, the person from VLCT felt that what we should do is um, basically follow the procedures spelled out in our domestic pet nuisance control ordinance um, yeah. first. That we should follow this, that we really, and there's nothing in the ordinance about a hearing at all. No. Um, so what we should do is follow to the letter of the okay. ordinance, and I think Kim has pretty much done that. Um, so, but uh, we need to kind of check in with Kim about that. So, um, yeah, find out if he's <coughs> gotten word of this last. Great. Right, so the thing we want to do is that. he should probably come to the next meeting exactly. with his That's findings, but he should also document this complaint that right. Diane just enumerated. Yeah. So what we'll do is um, we'll meet with Kim at our next select board meeting. He can go get through this yeah, his documentation, <clears throat> what he's done, um, and then um, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. I'll probably confer with the LCT again, or it could be just you know that we could do this at a select board mm -hmm. meeting. Um, she did mention that the ordinance is kind of slim and and uh, outdated. Um, they have a model ordinance that they have. I know that Skip worked on the ordinance with Kim a couple years ago after the horse got killed in the village. Oh yes, hit horse. So I remember this one. It was kind of like to deal with other domestic pets that aren't dogs or cats or specifically dogs. I don't know if they ever got an end result from that. I, I, I should check with Skip. Um, I never saw one that we approved anyway, but, but my memory. So anyway, there was the suggestion from the person from VLCT that we might want to um, we look at the ordinance and, and update, it. update it. So they have a model, um, one in there is, uh, you know, a part about, there is state statute about having um, a hearing process um, in your in your ordinance, in the town's dog ordinance. So, um, so we'll meet with Cam, and it uh, sounds like we may be working on the the order. <laughs> that's, that's, we, yeah, that's what you mean by the never. There's never nothing to right. do. There's always going to be something to do. So one last uh, follow-up update. I, I don't know if I even mentioned this at a select board meeting. You did but, sharing the help officer. Yeah. So um, there was um, you know an incident on the dog pond road 
where, um, and I was contacted as the default health officer by the uh, resident. Um, I explained that the situation to them, that um, I technically really wasn't a health officer, even though the health department has determined that by default that I was, and I really didn't know how to, how to help. Um, that was when I asked you for your report, um, which I gave to that person. Yeah. And apparently they called um, the Callis health officer, um, who did come and make an inspection and wrote up a report and communicated with me about it. We had some back and forths, um, and it kind of gave me the thought that, well, maybe um, you know, we could share the Callis health officer with Luke Berry. And, um, he checked with the health department about that, and they said no. Right. I actually asked him about it. I saw him okay, last week, saw, and he said, okay. no, we can't do that. And I'm yeah. not sure why that is. I'm not sure either. I'd like to, I might call the health department and find, and out. find out why. Um, but we kind of figured out. Um, it's positive some of the other towns have shared health officers. Yeah. What we could do, um, and, uh, and you know, we have to decide, he is willing to continue to, if there are problems to come, I would probably tag along, and then I would be the one signing right. it. Or, yeah, sort of signing the report. He might actually write it up for, yeah. for us. Um, um, seems like, you know, I, I don't I, know. I think, yeah, I don't have a problem with that, but I also right. should check why. Why, yeah. 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 See, I was gonna, we are the Board of Health. We're the Board of Health. Yeah. I get that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not clear why you couldn't have anybody be the health officer. Yeah. In a large city that's a paid employee, you could hire anyone from anywhere. Yeah. 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 Well, apparently the health department told them no. So, oh, no. so yeah. I will I will contact somebody. You don't have to wear a city of 100,000 people. You're telling yeah. me you can't. It has to yeah. be a town resident to be the health yeah. officer. You yeah. know, and so, I don't know whoever's determined that the select board chair was the default health we officer. Liked it. I, didn't, yeah. I didn't see yeah. that in any of the paperwork either. All I saw was either you have a health officer or the well, select I, board is the I got a lot of letters health. from the health department about it. Yeah. Ah. So you know, yeah. we would make determinations as the board. As health, the board, right? Yeah, as no, health office would come to us with a whatever. Yeah. Their Apparently, purpose. there's something in state statute. There was something different that yeah, that, that. I have seen that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I. So we're still the board of health, but then the select board chair becomes, becomes a the de facto default. Health by officer. default, yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. so we still, you know, so technically you go strong arm somebody. Right. Now there's somebody new over there, isn't there? In Heather's place? Yeah, the people that got complained about across the road over here, <coughs> behind you guys, the ones that were revving their motors and yeah. all that, they moved in there. Well, they moved into the house. Right. Yeah, Heather's house. Trailer, and, right. and the last thing, well, we, well, should, they were we should, the house, right? let's not talk about this no. at a slick board meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> yeah, probably sorry. But I didn't know if that changed. Well, let's let's, let's not there. talk yeah. about it. It, it did. And mm -hmm. We can talk about it later. Yeah, if we want. <laughs> um, but that's not to be public knowledge, I don't think. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'll contact the health department too, and um, just to find out that's so. And maybe I'll complain to our legislatures or something, because you know the health, the select board has enough to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. if this, you know, if if the Calus health officer is willing to, you know, answer calls, because you know he told me that you know I hardly ever get a call from Calus. I have I have plenty of time. I have the knowledge. You know, and he did. He did, keeps it. Just, he did get right in the middle of this situation. He, did. Was, he approached me to yeah. ask me some state stuff. And, Who is yeah. it? Um, Jay Copping. Jay Copping is his name. Yeah. Yeah. He's very, very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he does have a report that does need to be, and he said he would get it to me at some point that I mm -hmm. need to sign. Um, so, yeah. so that's our solution for the moment for that. Works for me. I think that's a great solution yeah. for the industry. Yeah, it sounds good to me too. So, you and you know, priority. if this continues this way, I don't know whether we want to try to offer him a small stipend for his... What were we paying the help officer before? Oh, nothing as far as I know. Were you, no. Did you ever get any Poor stipend? Bugger. That's why you don't get anybody. <laughs> so, so, you know, that's... Too much Brian's been help okay. officer for, he knows. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> so we that's got, you got bed bugs, all kinds of great things you got to do. We got a lot of bad stuff now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that might be a conversation for the future. But we won't. Yeah, we should find think, some way to compensate. Yeah, it feels like especially if we if don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, if somebody else is doing it and it's from another town for us. So. Yeah. So that's oh, you know, I did want to talk a little bit about the rail trail. Um, yeah. So. We're going to get a committee established. Yeah, I'll um, talk to Dan. I haven't called him lately, so yeah. I will get a hold of him again and see it, what it's he most put back together. They do have a meeting set up for I next week, and 
Jim is going to be attending. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. So it's mostly, you know, I'm just thinking of liability, not liability, but more legal stuff, you know, like, are there things set up so the incident that happened with a log reusing the rail trail, would, would, the, would the town or the, you know, are there designated um, uses for the trail, does the town, you know, all this kind of stuff that, that we would need to sort of have in place in order to have a case about restricting the who uses the rail trail. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, are there, is there like a rail trail use kind of policy that is this? Yeah, there was. Okay. There was. I'll try to look and okay. I tried to find some. And is the rail trail? Is it a joint town? Is it Hardwick and? It was Woodbury? a joint town when okay. it was initially set up. Okay. Hardwick and Woodbury. Um, so, you know, who owns? The trail. Swenson's. Swenson's, Swenson's owns the trail, yep. and, and, the, uh, and there's an agreement with the Hardwick the and Woodbury, Woodbury about and the use of it. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if there are any, you know, like I don't know, if we'll call them bylaws or policy, but you know, any restrictions on. Um, and I think the, there was who I, uses the trail. I would imagine there would be. Yeah. Um, so you know, we would need to have those. Um, yeah, I started looking for <clears throat> my old copies. I've, it's got to be in the house right. somewhere. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we would just have to, I think it would be good either have the rail trail committee review them or or the select board. Um, you know, if it's See, not the rail this. trail committee couldn't be the ultimate decision maker. They could come to the board and say, hey, somebody's using this. Right. The town is obviously the, the rentor of the... Yeah. Yeah. Or, or the, however, the arrangement yeah, is with Swenson Court yeah. because you know, if the town owned, you say if it was like an old road kind of right away that the yeah. rail trail was on, then then the town would have, you know, those kind of laws, yeah. statutes would apply. Yeah. But it, as it was, Swenson yeah. leased it to the town, I mm -hmm. think, for like ninety nine years or something, yeah. and okay. the rail trail committee was. Okay. Can oversee so, it. Technically. So any of those documents that yeah. show yeah. that the that the, that there is a lease with Swenson Quarry that to the town or to both Hardwick and Woodbury, yeah. you know, all of that stuff, um, either to have the rail trail committee review it or come and meet with us and we'll review it together and, and just see what mm -hmm. if everything would hold up so that if there was an issue, um, we would have all of our ducks in order in order to have yeah. it enforced. That, yeah. That's the key. Um, you know, if we don't have you know, it's like the thing with the with this dog. If the ordinance doesn't, if there isn't an ordinance, it can't be. Yeah. There's nothing to be enforced. Yeah. So we just you know figure out what we do want to have enforced, um, and then have something in yeah. some kind of legal in document. Place, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that just I think that's you know to try to so, find that old documentation yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So if this happens again, um, you know, yeah, we have something to stand on if somebody. Can, Objects and just says, "Well, you know, I'm going to do what I want." Yeah. Um, and I assume now they're out of there, and there's new snow, so everything's fine. Hopefully, I'm going to be good. Yeah. Okay. And does the um, vast is that a vast trail also over that? So, so they probably have some kind of stuff too to say about. Because of the closing logging up on East Hill, <coughs> that the trail's been shut down. Their mm -hmm. groomers, our groomers, are in Callis, therefore. Mm -hmm. The railroad bed does not get it. It has been groomed once, mm -hmm. but cannot come back through because of the closing on oh, East so Hill. Can't get to here. Right. They're logging up on East Hill. Yep. Yeah. Same people or no? no. Okay. Well, that's it on on the, my agenda. Anyway. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Good. Um, would you like to make that motion? You just did. You just did. Okay. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay.